I, male, 33, let my wife, female, 32, coerce me into an open marriage and now I want to leave. The 10th anniversary is coming in a month, but I don't think we make it that far. The COVID years, not seeing my family friends for a long time, I live abroad, and a slowly eroding relationship took a toll on me. She hates my parents, and our sex life was getting worse over the years as she was criticizing and mocking me when I didn't perform so well or blaming me when I was too tired to have sex. Around two, five years ago, a depression slowly crept up on me and my wife decided to start an emotional affair with a male colleague around that time. When I confronted her, she accused me of being possessive and insecure. That repeated several times. My mental health went on a downward spiral as we were arguing daily and she blamed me for negative energy and not smiling often enough. I almost didn't sleep and lost all libido. Then she asked if she could get sex somewhere else since I'm not in the best form. I was shocked and refused immediately while telling her that it's against my core values to have an open relationship. She got mad for me not willing to sacrifice for her and claimed she can do whatever she wants with her body. Eventually I went to the doctor and got heavy antidepressants. She kept claiming that she can stop her friendship any time if it's hurting me so badly. She never did. After trying to work on our sex life and telling her that the criticizing isn't helpful, she just claimed I'm oversensitive. She also refused counseling. The pressuring to open the marriage went on for a year until I gave in. I was trying to get my mental health better and just didn't have the strength anymore. We were about to move a new house far away from that guy. I thought that she might just not do anything stupid when it's not the forbidden fruit anymore and soon will be far away. Man, I was wrong. She f asterisk he gus geeked him at least ten times. My head was done with her at that point, and I should have left, but somehow my heart still believed. So, we made the move. I thought this was the chance to still recover, but she would blame me for bringing up old topic when I tried to talk about what happened and spend hours locked up in the bedroom. Eventually, I found out why. She's been already messaging some local guys. For me, too much has been broken at this point. I know I've done this to myself. I need to and want to get out. I consulted a lawyer already. I wanted to tell her I want a divorce when I have an apartment, but a couple of days ago she came home smelling like another dude. She didn't even shower, so she smelled for two days. It was difficult not to throw up. I waited to calm down, and this weekend told her I want to leave. We ended up talking for hours, which was incredibly exhausting. I told her that I don't see any other way than moving out. She got emotional, but we mostly could talk fairly and calmly. She doesn't want to end it, though. She wants to try again. I told her that I don't think that it would somehow undo the past two, five years of emotional abuse and affairs. I'll sleep with one eye open forever. She said she was like that because she wanted to fight for what she felt was right for her, meaning smashing a colleague as an attempt to deal with her being R asterisk peed some 12, 13 years ago. She claims it had helped her, but the price is too big. I told her what the price is, me leaving, in advance, though. She thinks we can make it if we want to, and if I don't, then I gave up on us. She also told me how I'm the right one for her, how she loves me, and that she likes almost everything about me. She also tried to seduce me to have sex. I don't know, is this love bombing? She said she understands she did hurt me. I even kind of believe her she loves me, but I don't comprehend how you can treat someone you love like this for two, five years. I mean, she smashed her current guy just last week, apparently only out of despair because our relationship is in such a bad state and she doesn't feel desired. I told her that my desire went after she coerced me into an open marriage and started screwing around. Anyways, she still wants to work on us and our sex life. I don't feel like I can do it anymore. 
In bed, it was never really good, despite my best attempts. She asked if I don't want the nice times to come back. I told her that the nice times were the main reason why I stuck around for so long, trying to fight for the relationship. But now, I'm too exhausted. Despite that, I asked, how does she think we could fix it then? She said more talking and cuddling, and it turns out she wants to keep her friend around, because when I asked whether she is ready to go no contact with him, she refused. If I'm forbidding her from having friends, we can just end it. I told her that if she screwed him last week, he's not her friend. She didn't get it. Today she said that if we were to close the relationship again, it would need to suit her, meaning that we would need to have sex again and she would need to feel happy and desired again. It feels like she just expects me to do everything, like she needs it, and she's barely able to give anything distantly resembling a compromise. For me, going no contact with her friends would the bare minimum to even consider not leaving. My gut feeling speaks clearly, though. I should leave, and I started working on it. Does anyone have similar experience or any advice? I dare someone who thinks I should try to reconcile with her. TLDR wife started an emotional affair and eventually demanded open marriage. I resisted for a year but eventually gave in. She had sexual relations with one to three guys else since then. I've been suffering with anxiety and depression for almost the whole time. We moved to a new house far away and I was hoping for an improvement only to find out that she's been active on dating sites searching for sex partners again. Now I want to leave. Update, it's been a while so I decided to do an update. Since the last time my wife slept with her friend out of sheer desperation because our relationship has been so rocky for the past two to three years, I finally started taking steps towards a separation and a divorce. I don't live in the U.S. and I can't get divorced as fast as it's usually possible there. I met with a lawyer in secret, created a strategy for dividing the assets we own together, started slowly gathering my personal belongings I want to keep and take with me, and most importantly, I started looking for an apartment, also in secret. It has been much more challenging than I expected. I was counting with some troubles as I was searching for a place some 600 kilometers away, but it took months to find something. But I have a place to stay. I told my wife a few times already that I can't continue this relationship and will be leaving. For the first time shortly after her admitting having sex with the last guy, and two more times since then, her reaction was always the same. She got emotional, crying and claiming that she didn't give up on us, but I am. For the record, she's the one who had affairs with several men. She has contact with them till this day and thinks I don't know probably. She's the one who has a significant part in my mental breakdown and needing to take antidepressants. And she's the one who threw the wedding ring at me at one point after an argument who said it's over for her, that if I don't accept the reality of her smashing whoever she wants, I can leave, and who said it's much better when I'm not at home. Now, when I took her suggestion, she's suddenly trying to hold on to me and pretends like the conversations about me leaving didn't happen. Anyways, I'm planning on packing my stuff on Friday, handing it over to the moving company on Saturday, and taking the train with the rest of my things on Sunday. Need to tell her that now, and I'm terrified for some reason. Even after all what she's done to me, I just don't want to hurt her. At the same time, I'm really pissed at her for doing what she did to me, and also at myself for letting it go this far. I also still keep getting second thought and must force myself into continuing with the plan. Is this normal? Also, any advice on how to approach this final conversation? It's quite last-minute announcement, but then again, I told her several times in the last three months. Just never told how far I'm in my plan, or that I have an apartment arranged already. Let's see comments. Dude, get out! You should have never agreed to open the relationship, and you shouldn't have moved to a new house with her. You trapped yourself for another 2.5 years. Your wife does not love you if this is how she's treating you, 
Doesn't matter if she tells you otherwise. File for divorce ASAP and never talk to this vile woman again. You do not have to tell her now. Wait until the movers are there on Saturday. She could potentially destroy some of your stuff and otherwise make the whole situation total chaos by acting out. You're doing the right thing by leaving. Here's my advice. Don't even have a final conversation. Closure is for amicably separating relationships that just didn't work out. Closure is not for cheaters. She deserves no closure. She has not earned it. You don't need closure. Closure is a gift that you give to her and she absolutely does not deserve it. When she goes to work or off to see her affair partner, leave. Delete her from your phone and block her number. Inform your family what you're doing and why. Tell them in no uncertain terms that you don't want to talk to her and you'll be pissed at anyone who forces that conversation with you. Block her friends and family. If you feel bad, send her mom a detailed email about why you're leaving. Wish her well, and then block her too. Ghost her. Please! Have her serve divorce papers at work in front of her colleagues. If you can't do that, have them served when she's with her friends. If not that, then have her served when she's out on a date with her affair partner. Finally, if all of the above is not available, have her served at her family during a holiday. I don't know how divorce works where you are, but here we have a guy called a process server who hand delivers the divorce papers to the person getting divorced. Update me. Let's see another story. Hi all, a bit of a backstory. My wife and I have been together since meeting in high school back in 2009. We've been married now since 2013, have two children, three and one. We are each other's first and only. We are extremely open with each other and have been basically from day one. With that said, the other day my wife and I had a very long talk. So she started a new job back in October and one of her co-workers is an older guy, 18 years older. He apparently has had the hots for her from day one and has made it known. He is a married guy, but also cheats all the time. My wife expressed to me that at first she was put off by the way he acted towards her, but recently she really likes it. She said it makes her feel good knowing another guy thinks of her in a sexual way. So last week one day, me and her got into a small fight in the morning. When she gets to work, she confides in him about how she views our marriage. She said she has been unhappy for some time for a few reasons. We are pretty broke right now. She hates where we live and some of my family. She thinks our sex has gotten boring, even though I try to spice things up. He replied asking, since she seems unhappy, would she ever cheat? She said no, but thought about it and later came back she would. So he basically asked when. Feeling guilty, she told my yesterday everything she has been feeling and how this guy makes her feel. She is extremely curious to see what sex is like with another guy. At first I was like WTF, but thought about it and only want her happy. My thinking was that if she needs to do this one time to be happy, then I should be okay with it. I know y'all are probably thinking I'm an idiot and should either tell her not to even think about it or we should probably just divorce but I love her more than words can describe. I can't take losing her. What do y'all think? And what would you do or say if you were in this situation? Let's see comments. By no means am I an expert as how I failed to deal with my situation, but sorry to tell you, sir, you don't want to lose her, but you already have. If you want to lose her, your self-worth and your dignity for good, go ahead and let her do it. If you really love your wife, and want to save your marriage. You both need counseling together and at the very least I see on why she would feel the need to do this and why in God's name you would even think of allowing it. Kids one and three, ugh. Let me start saying some prayers for them right now on the mess they are about to go through. There are too many things in the news as it is when toxic situations like this go south. You let her bang other guys you will most definitely lose her.
You tell her that you will not remain married to her if she doesn't cut contact with him completely and leave her job, then you may lose her. But it's much more likely that she will simply leave you if she sees you as a man who has such little respect for himself that she can literally do anything she wants to you without you standing up for yourself. That's just how these things usually play out. Personally, I would probably tell my wife to go right on ahead right after I have spoken to every divorce lawyer in town and had her served. 